Welcome everyone to the town of Possum. Possum is one of my own towns. I figured since we did a visit to Reverie for a dream town visit number 10, since this is number 20, we would visit another one of my towns and talk a little bit about it. So come on a journey with me after we grab all these presents. I got some clothes to tr put on because, I mean, who wants to be walking around in their pajamas, really? I mean, aside from the fact that I do all the time at home every day. But we've got cat cap and cat jazz and whiskers okay it's a curly mustache but it's whiskers okay and we got to drop those oh okay i missed but grab lots of goodies i like to have presents in my dream towns just so you can choose what you want to walk around with, if anything. We're gonna walk around with the balloon. It's a little yellow heart balloon. And then we've got more clothes over here, and you can visit yourself to see them. And then right away, you might notice that this is a hack town. Two town trees. I mean, that's normal, right? With um, a face cut out standy in the middle of them. But you can be a proud mama kitten with her litter of cute kittens. And let's get started on our journey. So, right off the bat, to the left of the plaza, we've got this giant shoe. Just a little reference to the fact that Cats like to play with shoes. Yes, this is my cat town, if you haven't picked up on that yet. Um, it's also my rainbow town. Lots of, lots and lots of rainbow flowers. Uh, and lots of references to cat things. Like this pyramid, because the ancient Egyptians revered cats. We've got our little paw flag which when i finished this town i originally had a different flag just because i forgot to change it to that and i was just being silly but um i did eventually re-upload it we've got the pave festival arch which is one of my favorite things again it hacked into the town and here we go say hi to rudy so morgana has been here normally as a visitor, so um, a lot of the cats will recognize her. Did you sleepwalk your way to this town or something? I'm a loose cannon. Gay. Go. Um, so this is my rainbow town, my cat town, and also my pride town. I finished this last June for Pride Month, and everyone's wearing different pride shirts. Um, and they have different pride catchphrases, and there's someone all the way up here. So the vet, some paws, possum, some paws. Um, the vet's house is down here, so I don't know why she's all the way up there. But here we go. We've got a twin got cat thing. Perfect. So we've got these two houses next to each other and I did make them look similar um, on purpose and this is Cat's house are you ready for this? his entire character revolves around this pun he's a cat burglar so when I was working on this town I made this town in early 2015 and I put it down for about a year before um, I decided, well, I before I finally had inspiration to finish it last year. And I didn't remember what I had done with his house. And 
when I walked in, I just started laughing so much. Because, yes, I am that big of a dork. So there we've got Cat's house, and right next door we've got the vet. I'm sure the cat loves living right next door to the vet. So here we've got a little reception room. Uh, we've got receptionist to check in, a little waiting area, cat tree of course, some office equipment, and then back here we have got exam rooms. So we've got little partitioned areas to um, give some cats their privacy when they're sick or just need an exam. We've got the little cat skeleton all set and a um, little, little area to check your height and weight. So a nice simple but efficient exam room for our vet to operate in. Not operate, operate. There's um, no operating table there, but <laughs> you know, operations, like the daily operations. And then upstairs, we've got a little cozy apartment. Um, not much, very small, the basics, but it looks really nice still. Um, I like the touches of green to go with the wallpaper and nice little rocking chair to read up on these books. Well, there's only one book there, but the books. Let's read books, not just one book. I'm pretty sure. Um, So that's the vet office and house. Then over here, you can follow the path, but why would I do that? Over here, we've got our campground. We've got a nice little hammock and where the campers come to visit. And we've got Wendell. So you have met me in a dream. So, I've got a bunch of original designs for this town, including a ton of pride shirts. So, um, I don't know if all the shirts show up in the dream town. They do. Okay. So, we've got all these pride shirts. We've got the pride flag, and we've got these other things that we will see soon. Um... I'm not going to take any designs because they're all my own designs, but if you're interested in them, the pride shirts have like a little collar and bell um, because they're for cats. So are you just going to, you're just going to push me. Okay. Um, another thing, we've got this wonderful, wonderful path. I did not make this QR code right here, um, but I couldn't not include it in my rainbow town. Come on. Um, and as a fun little scavenger hunt, try to find all of them because there's quite a few hidden around the town, honestly. Um, so we go over this gemstone bridge and this catnip field. Um, so the mayor of this town, her name is Morwen. And she is, she and the town are loosely based on a witch from a book, from a book series called The Enchanted Forest Chronicles. Uh, the first book is called Dealing with Dragons, and I definitely recommend checking it out, honestly. It's funny and witty and um, a really quick read also. Um, but Morwen is a witch who lives in the Enchanted Forest, and she has nine cats and there's a blue catnip field by her house i couldn't do anything about the blue catnip but i did give her her catnip field um so this leads into my favorite thing that i've ever done in animal crossing and that is these invisible trees do you see them no well i guess you don't really see them but uh do you see the floating fruit 
one of my favorite things um, that I learned to do, and not many people know that you can do this, so it's very unique, and I'm happy with it. Um, but Morwen does live in the Enchanted Forest, so I tried to give her a little Enchanted Forest vibe. And over here we've got the dinner bell for all the cats, and, um, and we've got toys for them to come play. So it looks like Morwen oh, is right outside her house. So this is Morwen. Her, her greeting is none of this nonsense, please, which is from the book. Um, I took most, I took the basics of the book, of the character from the book. She's not even the main character of the story, but I took the basics of her character and then uh, embellished upon that. But another um, inspiration for this, this house particularly, is uh, based off of, if you can see it without the arch, um, there's a cute little cottage in Fantasy Life, which is one of my favorite games as well. And I tried to recreate that in New Leaf um, by the exterior. So let's go into Mormon's house. So right off the bat, we have a kitchen. And um, we've got this, the wallpaper with the cats all over it. The illusion wallpaper. Um, there's a couple references to the story in here, which actually um, the mop bucket is one of them, but I won't spoil that. Um, but Morwen has a an enchanted house because she's a witch and she has like the main room is the kitchen and that's where everyone comes and gathers and hangs out and works on stuff and then she has a magic door and the magic door can lead to all these different rooms um any any room that she has in the house but there's only one door leading off the kitchen couldn't do that um, because of how Animal Crossing works, but I did give her the kitchen with all the delicious food. Look at all that. I'm a little hungry. But so through the door number one, there's a library. She does have a library in her house, but really I just like putting libraries in as many towns as I possibly can. You all know that it's my favorite, my favorite thing to do. I love when people include libraries. This library in particular is obviously a cat library. Look at all these cats studying. Um, and then we over here we've got someone studying to be a cat. Look, they're taking notes on Tabby. So we've got lots of cat shenanigans going on here. We've got someone else with a cat dress and there's Lolly's picture. Lolly being one of my favorite favorite villagers. Not just cat villagers but my favorite villagers ever. Then over here we have got the cat cafe. Now this room was one of the reasons that this town wasn't completed for the longest time. I knew I wanted to make a cat cafe, but could not make it work. I couldn't couldn't figure out what I wanted to do specifically until um, I saw this the Sanrio furniture, and I was like, "Yes, that is what we're going to do." And then inspiration struck, and I was like finally just able to finish the entire town. It was really nice. Uh, this floor, I made myself to go with the wallpaper and, and the color scheme. I really like this this particular blue with this, this pink with the yellow. Um, so um, this is a QR code that you should be able to grab from Wendell as well. And of course we've got these cat cushions, um, cat sleeping on these cushions because it's a cat cafe. So. And then over on the west wing, we have got another different 
room. Of a reference of a different type. This is not referencing the Enchanted Forest Chronicles. This is a band room, as you can tell, for ready? Josie and the Pussycats. Um, Josie and the Pussycats is a wonderful fictional band from the Archie comics. And um, I read the Archie comics a lot as a kid, so I just wanted to make a little nod to them in my cat town because why not? I can. I'm not sure if everyone who visits the town gets the reference, but that's why I'm doing this for all of you to get it now. Then up here we've got a jungle. I had a lot of fun making this room in particular, honestly. Um, it's not very functional, but you can't walk very far into it, but I love it. It's supposed to be crowded. We've got we've got a tiger, we've got Bud's picture, because just pretend that tigers and lions live together peacefully in the jungle. I know lions don't live in the jungle, but just go with it here, okay? Um, and I just really, really love this room a lot. All the greenery. The, t the town itself, like, the houses in this town are don't have a whole lot of greenery, so I shoved it all into one room. And then down here we've got Morwen's, like, little living area besides the kitchen. Uh, we've got a nice little table for her to hang out in. We've got a Wii U, um, because why not? And then just... Stacks of books, um, some tea time, and then we've even got a vacuum because um, when you have so many cats, you need to vacuum a lot. Shedding season just started in Chicago. Um, it's May, and we might be done with snow. Maybe. Maybe. I can't say that too loudly, I guess, um, because it did snow last weekend. But this weekend it was in the 70s, so we might be done with snow, and that means my cats have been shedding a ton. So, I know the struggles of having a lot of cats and having to clean up their hair all the time, so she has a vacuum. So that's Morwen's house. And then over here we've got a wetsuit, which we are going to put on, and... That looks a little ri ridiculous with the cats, um, the cat hat, but we're gonna go take a diving leap and come visit this secret beach. And among all these gold roses, we've got the sphinx. Just a little nod. That's it. The beach is nothing, like, too elaborate, but I want to do something on it. Then over here, we've got all these gold roses. Um, I say a lot in all my Dreamtown videos that everyone's so good at landscaping beaches, and then there's me, and this is what I mean. I don't landscape beaches, I just fill them with Gold roses. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So over here, which we skipped, so there's just this bridge. And then over here we've got this park area. Um, full of rainbow stuff again. We've got the rainbow balloon arch. And we've even got a litter box for cats to do what they need to do. And we've got the bench. That's rainbow. Lots of rainbow. Can you tell? And then all we got um, the neighborhood where all the cats live together. So we've got some modern elements. Really wanted to go for like a more modern feel for this town. Um, not so much foresty like my other towns. If you've visited Reverie or um, even Camelot is more foresty than this town. But I wanted this to be more modern, more um, urban. 
So we've got Mary in here. My wish was granted. Here you are. So everyone is wearing different pride shirts. And, um... Okay, I can't get her to say her catchphrase. I think it's very rare for them to say their catchphrases when they're in their houses. But I haven't really redecorated everyone's um, houses much in this town. Aside from, I made everyone have a cat tower. That's about it. Um, everything else I wasn't very picky about. Lolly's house is redecorated just because she was in Camelot originally and I redecorated her house there. Um, but everyone else's is, is kind of like, I let them do what they want. Except they have to have a cat tower. And Cat doesn't have a cat tower. Cat got rid of hers. Cat, you're making a liar out of me. So everyone has different pride shirts and everyone has pride catchphrases. So Cat's is be proud. This little fun thing that I had um, making the catchphrases for everyone in this town um yes lgbtq pride is important to me oh apparently we've never met tom before oh it's okay you're here and welcome act up act up is um a catchphrase for him um the act up movement was when the aids epidemic was happening um, there's an active movement in San Francisco, so, um, it's an important catchphrase, and Tom being an older villager, um, because the Crankies are always portrayed as older, thought he might have been around for the AIDS epidemic, and, um, Be relevant to that catchphrase. And Lolly is home now, so we're gonna go say hi to Lolly because we love Lolly. Um, Lolly was actually an original villager in Camelot. So, as I said, I redecorated her house and I really like her house. Um, but she was an original villager in Camelot and she still remembers Morgana as that bestie. Been wishing and hoping that we might see each other again. Love ya is her catchphrase. Um, but yeah, Lolly's one of my absolute favorite villagers. As if you come to my Twitch streams, you will know I talk about Lolly and Olive a lot, and Daisy and Bud. Um, but they all have each of their own emotes on the Twitch channel um, that I stream on. So um, definitely. Come by Twitch. But yeah, so we just have this little neighborhood area. And, um... Who else can we say hi to? We can say hi to Monique, I guess. We'll say hi to Monique. We won't visit all the villagers. You can do that in your own time. Um, but they're all cats, so... No surprises there, right? So here's Monique. Yeah, girl! So this is uh, her house, mostly still the same, but changed a little and has a cat tower, unlike cat. So we're nearing the end of this tour. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this town. I put a lot of time into this town. I know it's hacked. Um, that doesn't diminish the amount of time I put into this town at all. Um, like I said, it took over three years to finish this town. Um, so this is Possum, 
feel free to visit on your own and try to find all the hey ya patterns and um if you like this content i have a lot more of my own personal animal crossing content on my tumblr and i also stream animal crossing um four nights a week so check out my twitch channel if you're interested in that and i'll have another dream time visit next week um, i do dream time videos every single week so we'll be back then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll have all the all my relevant links in the description. So have a good day.